Across the river now to Edgefield County, where your Will Rio is live at the Edgefield Police and Fire Station. So, Will, you've been out there in the community all day long today, surveying the damage, talking with the people. What can you tell us about Edgefield's response? Well, guys, just in the last hour, we did get an update that there is a 9 p.m. curfew for Edgefield County as a whole. So make sure that you're off the roads because those power lines, those trees are very dangerous if you're driving on those dark roads. There's not much power uh, in the town of Edgefield or the county. Uh, so it's very important that you stay off the roads and let these crews do their work. But uh, here at the fire station, this is a great resource if you need any food or water. They have about 20 different pallets of MRE military meals that you can come and you can take a box uh, and you can take that home to your family. If you need something to eat as well as uh, two different cases of water as well. So this has been a very uh, centric place that people can come and pick up some of that food. We had actually the Marion County Sheriff's Office uh, showed up here to bring some supplies to the county as well as you see crews back here uh, loading up those meals that they can take and uh, distribute out to various different locations across the town. Uh, we also know that Strom Thurmond High School is a place that people can go to get food and water if they need to. Uh, also, we've seen the National Guard out here. We heard that there's a 30 man team out here at helping to clear some of those roads and get some of those power lines lifted as well. Uh, we heard that the only place in town that has uh, any kind of power that's not a generator is the hospital right now. Uh, we, we're trying to get out to some of these smaller counties. We know that it's so important to get that coverage and to show what's going on. I do have an update for Johnston and Trenton. Trenton is coming along nicely and then Johnston does have power as of about two hours ago. We were told that uh, by the mayor and the fire chief here in Edgefield. So some progress being made out here with some of our smaller counties as people are just reeling from Hurricane Helene. It was just so destructive. Uh, if you saw our earlier newscast, you saw some of the damage still uh, in, here in Edgefield, and we can only imagine uh, it's worse as you get farther out here in some of our more rural counties as well. Uh, so they're really telling people to stay off the roads. They say this is one of the worst storms they've seen since the 2014 ice storm and then Hurricane Hugo as well. Uh, they said they're lucky that they didn't have 12 plus deaths here in Edgefield. So uh, it's just really thankful and everyone's really thankful here and it's all hands on deck as a crew here uh, was just eating a few hours ago just trying to catch up uh, get those meals and then get those get that sleep as well so uh, a lot of recovery here we'll try to get out even further uh, as the week progresses here to give you guys updates and hey, well I think you mentioned Strom Thurmond High School is another point of contact there for those MREs right Yeah, Strom Thurmond High School and then here at the fire station are, are good places that you can show up to get those MREs and then those uh, that bottled water as well. We know that's super important for a lot of families that may not have access to, the, to food and water at this point. Critical information right there from Will Rio in Edgefield County. And as well